Hello everybody and welcome to another New South Wales LSPDFR patrol. Today we're going to be doing a patrol out here in Stevie J's General Duties marked Volkswagen Passat. I am using a new build if you have noticed. I have got many requests from people due to the other one just looking unrealistic and only being able to um, have the taser and some other things. So for example when I had that built of the vest I would carry two tasers and now with this one I can switch it up. It has many different varieties which is just amazing with this one. But other than that let's jump in the vehicle and take a look at the interior and lighting of this one. It is a $40 model so if you guys do want it I will leave the discord link in the description down below. Um, working gauges you've got hands are on the wheel the wheel is nice and detailed you've got the cad there and you've got everything you really need but other than that let's take a look at the lighting here you've got your back lights and your top light bar and then your two grill lights at the front but other than that let's get started with dispatch coffs harbor 35 show us signing on we have just been having a quiet shift. I have made it into the New South Wales Police Force in Harbour Roleplay. That is a New South Wales based white listed server. I'm really enjoying MDA it there. On, Parking um, accident, okay. Cough Sabre 35, yeah, responding code red. 10 4, copy Triple zero, red. Caller is waiting for you at the location, respond code red. That's all the information we have right now. Just a parking accident. I'm not sure how bad it is, so. We'll respond there, code red, lights and sirens. Well, ETA is about only 20 seconds here. It's gonna be in the grey, in the cemetery. Let's just flip a U-turn here. Cough Saba, 35, show us on scene. Show us on scene. Let's get a quick plate check. Ooh, it looks like they fit a dog. Can I get a rego check, please? Let's see who the registered owner is. Okay, vehicle's all clean. Um, let's see. Won't come up for some reason. We'll do that again. Just to make sure that is all registered yet. Owner is Alex Powers. Yeah, that's him. He's been arrested for possession of a firearm with a modified barrel. But that's all fine. We should be good here. Let's go have a chat to him. Hey, sir, do you want to get out for me? Thank you. My name's Senior Constable Adrian Grant, New South Wales Police Force General Duties Department. Can you tell me what's happened this morning? This dog just ran out. I had no chance to react anymore. I'm still a bit shocked. Do you need an ambulance, sir? No, thanks. Okay, just stay there for me. I, I've noticed your eyes. They're just moving a lot quite rapidly. Do you want to just stay there for me? I do have a breathalyzer in my car. I'll go grab that. We'll get a camera from our car and take pictures and then fill out a report on it. Then do a breathalyzer and drug swab on him. Let's grab the camera. There we go. I'm gonna take a picture of what's happened. Okay, there we go. We'll go give that to him. Okay, so so this is the report, um, everything else should arrive via mail in a few days. What I'm going to get you to do is just give me your license, I'm just going to run some checks and then we'll go from there. Coffs Harbour 35, can I get a CNI check on an Alex Powers? DOB is going to be 5788. 10-4. What I'll get you to do is just blow into this for me. This is a breathalyzer. Just, have you had any alcohol recently, last 24 hours? No, okay. Okay, you've come back 0.85. What I'll get you to do is just do this drug swab. Get it on your left cheek, right cheek, top of your mouth. Um, then get all your saliva on it and we should be all good. Okay, I've come back negative. What I'll get you to do is just turn around, put your hands behind your back. You currently are being placed under arrest for the UI first offence, okay? You have the right to silence. You can refuse to answer police questions or decline a record of interview. You can answer police questions by saying no comment. Your silence does not mean you are guilty. These rights protect you in the same impossible position of providing evidence no matter what you do. Just want to let you know also my body cam is recording our interaction and speech for evidence. 
gonna just I'm gonna grab you here I'm just gonna get you to face my car and then I'll pat you down do you have anything on you that can harm me anything I should know about anything illegal no okay then gonna search your pockets already have gloves on so I should be all good here we'll see okay um a single serum that's all good receipt from ammunition that's fine probably for the double action revolver concealed scratch trc so brandishing a weapon can um that's what brandishing a weapon versus scratch trc is well we'll see we'll go charge him in a minute dui first defense not looking too good and we'll also get animal control out here okay i'm gonna get you to sit in the back of my car just watch your head when you get in there you go Cough Cyber 35, can I get animal control? Assistance required Let's see what's on, in this car here. West Eclipse Boulevard. And then we'll get a tow truck out here and this is gonna be impounded this vehicle. Okay, another heavy revolver, hidden TRC. And he has some brown baggies of powder. We'll see what that is. Cough Cyber 35, can I get a tow truck? Westbound Eclipse Boulevard, SR18. There we go. We'll go do a narcotics test and then we'll go from there. I usually just um, wear gloves most shifts just because I am doing a lot of things where I require gloves when patting people down, narcotics tests, um, drug swabs, etc. Just don't want to get anything on my hands. Let's see. I would guess not, not marijuana. Can really be anything brown powder, but we'll see. Looks like the cause of death was oh heroin. Okay, that's what he's being charged with. We're gonna do his report and then we'll get a uh, transport out for him. There's the tow truck, and we're all good to do his report now. So we will go. He's not getting any infringement notice or infringement notices or anything. So DUI first offence. Um, possession of heroin. There we go. Where's gun? Does he have a CCP? Let's check real quick. Actually, I don't think he does. But he could. No, nah, he doesn't. That's also another charge. So we'll go back here. That charge. Scroll down a bit. It's gonna not be looking good for him. What else? Carrying a weapon while intoxicated as well. Possession of a firearm while intoxicated. Possession of a firearm with a hidden TRC. Where would that be? Without a CCP. Rendishing a deadly weapon since it's in public and on New South Wales roads. What else? possession of a no would it be possession of a firearm with a modified serial number is this, i think that's what i would count it is if it was a hidden trc and scratched off or well, just look in case but i'm pretty sure that's what it would be counted as there where's brandishing firearm possession of firearm while intoxicated no, it's not brandishing deadly weapon, just brandishing um firearm. I think that's about it. Yeah, I think we're all good to submit those charges there. Okay. So stack of fucking charges there. But other than that, let's get a transport out now. Cough Cyber 35. Can I get a cage transport? Ten four. Let's try that again. Can I get a cage transport? There we go. Sorry about that. Sometimes the in-game VKG wants, doesn't understand my comms the best. I wish it could understand a bit better, but that's fine. We may just pull out so it's easier for them. They're right there. In the evoke. I haven't done the evoke patrol, I think. I may do one soon. I've done a lot of unmarked patrols or how many have I actually done two maybe so not that much but 
Personally, I quite enjoy general duties with just, it's something you get to be very active within the community. Highway is also good. If I was to choose, I'd probably go highway just because there's, you're very active. You can, it's really, you have more things to do. You can do more things. You can give out infringement notices. You have more powers really as highway. But other than that, let's get back with this batch. Cough Cyber 35 back on and let's get back out there. Copy that. One, I really enjoy eight. patrolling around this area. It's a nice morning, nice bright sunrise coming up. Still only 6 a.m. but units. it's Assault nice and all. Reports of a person with a knife, okay. Cough Cyber 35 responding code red. It's gonna be just that. behind One, us Lincoln right 18. there. All we know of right now is someone is carrying a knife. They just could be a harm to a c the community, so we'll try to respond as quick as possible. We'll look for a POI carrying a knife. That could be someone. Show us on scene, Cough Cyber 35. Roger. Does he have anything in this Approach with caution. It can be anywhere in this area. There's a woman right there. We may just do a U-turn and go back this way, look for someone. Can't really see anyone suspicious at the moment. We may go up here. Oh, he did have a knife. Let's pull over and get out. Golf Cyber 35, we have eyes on a POI. Rockford Drivers are 14. Don't come near me. Don't come near me. Don't come near me. Don't come near me, you're gonna get shot, you're gonna get shot, you're gonna get shot. Hands up, hands up, hands up, don't move. Get on the floor, get on the floor, get on the floor. Lay down with your hands up, lay down, lay down. Don't move, drop the knife. Leave the knife there. You're gonna kick the knife away. That could have just turned so bad. Buddy, what's that for? Really? You were about to get shot. You were so close there. Can I have your ID? Thank you. I'm going to look for it. Here we go. Cough Cyber 35. Can I get a CNI check on an Aaron Frost? DOB is going to be 18583. Okay. Come over here. Brandishing a deadly weapon. What else? Would that be attempted murder of a police officer? Not really, just not gonna charge him with that. I'm gonna go easy on this one. Just gonna do brandishing a deadly weapon. Not gonna do attempted murder of a police officer. Anything on you that can poke stick or stab me or harm me in any sort of way? Your dick? Okay. That's not something. Well, it is, but can't really harm me. A ounce brown powder, three unmarked pills, okay. Turn around for me, I'm gonna be doing a breathalyzer just to make sure you're not intoxicated with any alcohol. Have you had any alcohol in the last 24 hours? Attention all units okay. in uh, Backlot City. I'm gonna be doing a drug swab on you. It's gonna feel a bit tickly. Okay. Right now, you currently are being placed under arrest for brandishing a deadly weapon. You have the right to silence and refuse to answer police questions or decline a record of interview. You can answer police questions by saying no comment and your silence does not mean you are guilty. These rights protect you in the same impossible position of providing evidence no matter what you do. Do you understand? Okay, great. I'm gonna get you to sit in the back of the car while I do the report and test those, the pills and powder. Just watch your head as you get in. Make sure you don't bump it. Don't hurt yourself. Do you want an ambulance? No? Okay. We'll run those pills and powder now. Just to see what that comes back to. I thought I was about to lose my life there. Let's see. This is a brown powder. I am going to try and store a mod where it's Australian charges type of thing okay best possession of heroin and what else unmarked pills not too sure we'll see this job it is quite enjoyable i actually do really enjoy it this 
every day is different within this that's why i enjoy it so much a lot of people are like isn't it the same thing it's something where you never know what's going to happen possession of fentanyl yeah, as well say we live in flyover country, but at least you can smoke. let's charge him now anyway, his name light, aaron okay so possession of this and then here we go this guy's gonna be going away for a while so I could charge him with what attempted murder of a police officer with a deadly weapon but that's what it would be I think but I'm not gonna do that because he did end up surrendering possession of a deadly weapon as well and I think that's gonna be about it where is it possession of a deadly weapon brandishing a deadly weapon there we go and we'll go submit those charges now ready ready Ms. right and we'll get a transport out here and get back out can i get a cage transport rockford drive sr 14645 can i get a cage transport Assistance they're gonna be just up there Morningwood. A lot of people have been asking me, um, how to mod. I will actually, I can start helping a lot of people with LSPDFR. It is quite a long procedure with installing everything. Obviously, it's personal preference with what you want to install. My game has a ridiculous amount of things. I've been modding since October 2021, so almost a year now. And I have a fuck ton of mods in, which just makes it really realistic. But you can go, I, it took me eight months to get to this stage. Could have just gone after that for the red light, but. Come on, buddy, yeah. Thank you. You have a good one. Thank you, officer. Go suck a dick. Off Cyber 35, show us back on. I have got MV on 5M. Noise disturbance, okay. Call Cyber 35, responding code red. As I was saying, I do have NVE on 5M. I did buy it. It's all working on 5M. I've got just some amazing pictures, especially when it rains. It looks really good. So I'm just absolutely loving it. But I don't have it installed on single player yet. I have tried to install it, but it's just not working for me. So I'll probably try to figure out how to do it at some stage. Because I really do want it. And maybe if I do end up getting Convy, I don't know if they actually sell it anymore. I think they might have stopped selling it, which is sad. But, I mean, I can probably get some reshaders for NVE, which will make it just flawless. I do know some people in Discords that are running NVE with reshaders and it just looks ten times better. We will take a right here. So it's going to be in one of these houses up here. Shouldn't be too hard. I think we've done this call before on our iLoad patrol. We did a patrol around here quite a while ago. Same location. Show us on scene, Kov Saba 35. There we go. Acknowledged. One, Lincoln, 18. Proceed with caution. It's gonna be that house there. We'll cut out lights just so it's not um flashing and annoying people that live around here and we don't really need them on around this area let's see if anyone wants to respond hey madam my name's senior constable adrian grump the new south Wales police force general Duty department our interaction and speech are being recorded by my body worn camera just for further evidence okay are you the owner we got a yes um we've got a call about your party can you just turn it down we have got multiple noise disturbance complaints it's my sister's 18th can't you let it slide it's just one day i know that it's a special day it's her birthday and you're partying even though it's her 18th it's still just um disturbing people that live in the neighborhood around here so if you could just turn it down that would be amazing okay okay i'll turn it down a bit Okay, you have a good party. I hope you enjoy. Can I just grab your um, identification there just to run some checks and then you're all good to go and get back to the party. Cough Cyber 35, can I get a CNI check on a Jessica Smith? DOB is going to be 29580. There we go. Okay, madam, um, you're all good to go back inside. You have a good party. Hope you enjoy it. 
No further Let's get back required. out there now. That is gonna actually be our last call for the day. Hello, kitty. Cute cat. But that is gonna be our last call for the day. We are gonna return to station and have a look at Thank you cases. all for tuning in on today's episode. I really appreciate you all coming to watch. Just really amazing support recently. As you can see on my left, there is DVG's marked Highway Patrol VF. Be on the lookout. I may be doing a video with that. But other than that, let's have a look at today's court cases. The two POIs that we did arrest. The first one, Alex Powers, DUI first offence, possession of heroin, possession of a firearm with a modified serial number, possession of a firearm while intoxicated, brandishing a firearm, and concealment of a firearm without a carry conceal permit. I'm going to guess six years, five months. Eleven years. DUI first offence, not guilty. Well, he was guilty there. The next one was Aaron Frost, which was possession of heroin, possession of frontal and brandishing a deadly weapon. I'm going to say three years, four months. Eight years, okay. I got very off today with the guesses, but that's all right. Other than that, thank you all for watching. I will be doing some more. I hope you guys are all enjoying the content that I have been doing. I will keep continuing making the longer form content and just some extra little clips for you guys. But other than that, thank you all for watching today. I really appreciate it. And until next time, have a good day and peace.